if you're interested in longevity, then you must do this really simple thing. If you had a recent blood test, let's say you've done a health panel, regular stuff like cholesterol, blood sugar, inflammatory markers, but also some vitamins, then you want to make sure that you check whether they're in optimal ranges, not just the normal range, because normal ranges are actually just an average of the population, not necessarily optimally healthy people. And research shows that a lot of the common blood markers will already give us quite a good prediction whether we're heading in the right direction or not, even though they're in the normal range. Let's say, for example, ferritin, really common blood marker. It measures how much iron we have stored. It's also an inflammatory marker. And if that is above optimal, way it was still in the normal range, but above optimal, it can cause inflammation. Or for example, vitamin D, even if it's in the normal range, but at the bottom of it, it can contribute to the immune system not functioning and getting rid of cancer cells, autoimmunity. So if 